On this four minute photo, we're going to learn about Fujifilm's highlight and shadow tones, what they are and how to use them to get precise control of your photo's contrast. When we add contrast to a photo, we are adding an S curve. So right now this tone curve is flat, but if we add contrast, we are making that curve into an S. We are making the bright areas brighter and the dark areas darker. The shape of that S curve is going to dictate how much contrast there is. So if we make those bright areas really bright and those dark areas really dark, making a strong S, we're going to have a ton of contrast. Fujifilm allows us to have independent control over the right half of that curve, or the highlight tone, and the left half of that curve, or the shadow tone. So if we just want to increase contrast in the shadows, just making those dark areas darker, we increase the shadow contrast, and the highlight areas, the sky in this example, are not affected at all. Or if we want to add contrast to the highlight areas of this photo, or the sky, we increase the highlight tone and the shadow areas are not affected at all. If we have a bright photo where most of the photo is on the right half of the histogram or the highlights, adjusting that shadow tone isn't going to affect it because there's nothing in the shadows. However, adjusting the highlight tone is going to have a major impact on the look of that photo. Conversely, if we have a dark photo where most of the histogram is on the left half of that graph where the shadow areas, adjusting the highlight tone isn't really going to affect it much at all, but changing the shadow tone is going to have a major effect on it. So now let's see how this applies to our Fujifilm cameras using XRAW Studio, a program that is basically a desktop version of the RAW processor inside all of our cameras. So if you want to increase the contrast of those highlight areas, making those bright areas brighter, to increase the contrast, you increase the number. If you want to make those bright areas darker, decreasing the contrast, you just decrease the number. Likewise, on those shadow tones, if you want to increase the contrast in those shadow areas, making those dark areas darker, we increase the number to increase the contrast. Conversely, if we want to make those dark areas brighter, making a flatter area in the shadows to decrease the contrast, we decrease the number. So there are a few ways you can use these highlight and shadow tones. You can program them into your own custom settings. If you want an extremely contrasty look, you can program your own custom setting to have plus four and plus four in both the highlights and the shadows, or you can go to negative two and negative two to make a custom setting that has a much flatter look to it. If you're recording the raw file format, you can do this after you've taken these images in your camera. When you're reviewing the photos, you can press the Q button and adjust the highlight and shadow tones as we're doing now, but on your camera, or if this was the scene that was right in front of us right now, real time, we can press the Q button on the back of our camera. That menu comes up. For this scene, we might want to pull down the sky a little bit. We can change the highlights to negative two, maybe increase some contrast in the foreground by setting the shadows to plus one. We press the shutter button, and this is the image that would come out of the camera. And that's how we use the highlight and shadow tones in our Fujifilm X-Series cameras to have much more precise control over the contrast in our photos.